Hi, this is Dave, and welcome to another episode of The Audio Show. So today I'm going to talk about something that's critical if you're going to play a record. It's the starting point of any phonograph or stereo system or audio system with a phono input. All right? and that, is, that is the cartridge, and the cartridge is what's going to convert the mechanical energy contained in the record disc into electrical energy. But how did they start and what are they? What is a cartridge? So the very earliest phonographs used this. This is called a reproducer. It's completely mechanical and it amplifies the sound using a mica diaphragm. In order to amplify the sound electronically, we need to convert the mechanical information contained in the record into electrical impulses that can be amplified electronically. It's the cartridge's job to do that. So a cartridge is what converts the mechanical energy contained in the record groove into electrical energy that can be amplified and then converted back into mechanical energy in the loudspeakers that our ears can hear. So cartridges can be divided into three main categories. The first type or category are ceramic cartridges. These actually use a piezoelectric ceramic piece. They have the advantage of being very inexpensive and pretty durable, but they don't sound good at all. Uh, they have high output, so they can be used in inexpensive equipment, and this is what you'll see in all of the phonographs or record players that you buy at the big box stores. Much better quality is a moving magnet cartridge. So this uses an actual magnet, a tiny magnet that moves inside the field of a very small copper coil, and that's how they convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy. They have much lower output, so these require a preamplifier. But some of the best cartridges out there are magnetic cartridges or moving magnet cartridges. They're fantastic, and there's a lot of options available in these. Now, the next step up, really in the audiophile class, is a moving coil cartridge. So this uses a coil moving inside the field of a magnet. That's what we call a moving coil. These have even lower output and therefore require even another step of amplification. But these provide the best fidelity. So the crystal cartridge has enjoyed popularity for years because they're so cheap, their output is high enough to pair them with any kind of really inexpensive, poorly manufactured amplifier and, and speaker system. So they go into all these, you know, single units that you can find everywhere. But the reason that they were important during the big switchover days between LP and 78s, which was, you know, my childhood, was because it was very easy to switch the stylus from one side to the other. Remember, a 78 and an LP cannot be played with the same needle. The groove is a very different diameter. This easily enables you to change between the two. So, Manufacturers could easily provide a way to say, oh, look, it can play all records, you know. Uh, they have a ceramic, piezoelectric ceramic that is actually attached by a rubber cradle. 
and the rubber goes bad and they have all sorts of problems with them. And because there's just a rubber cradle making the connection to the sound, they never sound very good. The benefit of them is that they're really cheap and easy to replace. The stylus pops out in seconds and you can replace them in seconds just like that. So the next step up is a magnetic or moving magnet cartridge. These have actually been around for a very long time. In fact, the very earliest electrical cartridge was a moving magnet. It actually used a horseshoe magnet. Uh, it weighed about, uh, it was measured in ounces. Uh, it was enormous, very expensive to produce and did not, uh, was not successful uh, commercially. It would take years till the technology would get good enough. And by the 1950s, there were great magnetic cartridges, but they still didn't dominate the market. They didn't dominate the market because in a magnetic cartridge, in order to play 78s, you have to remove the stylus and put in a 78 stylus. Because remember, 78s and vinyl LPs cannot be played with the same stylus. Since the ceramic cartridges have that flip, you could provide easily, manufacturers could provide both styluses on one cartridge. But people that really cared about fidelity, this is what they wanted. So it needed two things. It needed a separate stylus to play 78s, and it needs a preamplifier. But for higher fidelity, it was the way to go. So it quickly took over the market in all of the high-end equipment the moving magnet cartridges did because their performance is so superior that it's not even comparable to the ceramic cartridges. And for those who are still playing their 78s, like me, it's really very easy to change out the stylus. So a moving magnet cartridge basically works like this. As we know, anytime you move a magnet past a coil, you get electricity. So this has a tiny little magnet up in the stem of the stylus, and that tiny little magnet moves inside the coils that are inside the body of the cartridge itself and that's what creates the electrical energy. There's only one step up from these in fidelity. These are great fidelity, a lot of choices, uh, easy to use, and they're really what is the standard of most modern good audio systems. So that's a magnetic cartridge. All right, so the next step up is a moving coil cartridge. So this is becoming more popular with the audiophile crowd. Uh, they've started to become more affordable and more of the audiophile equipment is available with a moving coil preamplifier built in. The preamplifier used for this is different than the preamplifier needed for a moving magnet cartridge. This has lower output, needs a little more uh, amplification. So this works on the same principle. We're moving a magnet and a coil to create an electrical current. But here, the stylus in is connected to the coils, not the magnet. The magnet is fixed and the coil is moving inside the field of a magnet. So as a result, the stylus can't be changed. So if you want to play 78s with a moving coil cartridge, you need a special dedicated 78 moving coil cartridge, which they make. Uh, but for the most part, most of the widely available Moving coil cartridges will be LP tipped, uh, and there's many different stylus options, or I should say cantilever and tip options uh, in a moving coil. It's very important, since we can't replace the stylus, that we keep it covered. Because if you damage that, it has to go back to the manufacturer to be re-tipped. Other than that, these are fantastic. They're a great option if you want to get up in the next step of audiophile quality. So now you know a little bit more about cartridges. If you have any specific questions, please leave it in the comments below and I will try to uh, answer those individually uh, because I have a lot of information and knowledge on cartridges. It's one of the things that I've just always loved. A couple of my favorites are the pickerings like this. Uh, again, great options available in stylus availability for both 78s and LPs. Another, another great one that's just 
prosaic. They're everywhere and they're easy to find with a lot of great stylus availability is the Shure M91s that came with a few different bodies. And the M91s had two different styles available, but this one has the long screws, so it's easy to mount them and hold the screws when you're putting it in the head shell. And the other one has a clip. The other style M91 has a clip, so you can take the cartridge out and mount the clip first. Both of them are great uh, and great sounding. This is a fantastic sounding cartridge no matter what. All right, even, even, even the highest end, snobbiest audiophile, audiophile could not deny that the M91 is a great cartridge. Uh, and they do sound great. And I love mine. There's Empires. There's so many. The best cartridge is the cartridge you already have. Just be sure it's got a good stylus. So that's all for today. And I hope that you've enjoyed listening and I know that I've had fun doing it. So please like, subscribe, and comment below. And make it a great day. Thank you.